Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have, what are their true intentions in love? We do. And you know, uh, this is already a beautiful reading, I can tell. And we have, but we have like some challenging cards, but I don't believe they are like for you. No. And so we're going to have your person's energy here. I feel like this is your person's energy with these challenges. I do feel like a miracle is going to happen here or something you thought like, Maybe it was never going to happen for you because we have the supernatural here, right? And this is, you know, uh, the little vampire. And uh, interesting enough, she's uh, she's underneath the water. It looks like, or a fish is showing up in in the in the sky. <laughs> so this is why it's inexplainable or inexplicable is the proper uh, English term or English word, I should say. Miraculous, otherworldly. Yeah, this is about a, a miracle. This is going to happen. I feel like you probably. Maybe you didn't think it was going to happen for you. And we have this other card of this kind of this chick here. And I feel like I, it's just, I, I can't like, I don't even like looking at this because here she is naked and uh, she just looks uh, not only very unhappy, but she just, she's weird looking totally. And, you know, I'm not really going to say why, but if you can see the card, you might see, right? Because, but long story short, you know, it's really about uh, what this card means, right? And being a critical Sag here, I am. <laughs> and so sometimes we can be uh, critical, right? But uh, she's opening this, uh, she's opening the cage and letting the butterflies out. This can talk about, and here is, uh, the chessboard under her and the kittens looking at her like wow and this is offering a way out I feel like somebody's offering somebody a way out and they're watching them walk away I have to say that because mm, let's see here I just feel like that's going to happen and that's why there's going to be a miracle here kind of I just feel like somebody's letting somebody go for a new beginning with these uh with these butterflies and the really sad woman. Yeah, she's so sad she couldn't get dressed. No, she couldn't. Uh, and that's not nice, is it, Sagittarius? I mean, can power and light? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. And uh, <laughs> Let's see, we have this other card. Unison, common goals, shared values at one with others. Somebody's at one with you. And it is probably not love that makes the world go around, but rather those mutually supportive alliances through which partners recognize their dependence on each other for the achievement of shared and private goals. Your person, Sagittarius, it could be you, the whole reading could be switched, but it looks like they uh, are seeing you. Somebody could be letting them go, but this card talks about shared values. And so this is why I feel like somebody's coming back for a new beginning with these butterflies and this miracle here. And so, you know, this person thinks that I feel like you're the one and that you guys are at one with each other. Like, Sagittarius is the one, right? So I I have fun with Sagittarius when we're not even doing anything. Like, I feel kind of happy and excited or or maybe just at peace. But, you know, just a really good vibe, right? You guys aren't even doing anything. Although she's naked. Yeah, I have to admit she is. And uh, maybe she's pregnant. I'm not really sure. But, uh, you know, kind of. But here she is naked. And, uh, you know, she's in this kind of uh, garden here uh, where there is uh, a pond. But, uh you know, let's see what else we have. And we have the cauldron, and this is the womb, and this is where things are made or created in the womb, right? The baby is created in the womb, right? They might tell you that the baby is created by a man. They could, uh, they could say anything, anything kind of nuts these days. In fact, they do. Uh, but let's look at that womb here, and then it's showing up with the silver bow or the silver bow uh, it's really bow i think it is bow yeah b-o-u-g-h and here's the woman playing the bow right uh, i feel like that's what it's called kind of but uh she's playing this little kind of maybe they call this a bow but it's a small harp that's really what it is and she's sitting out in you know in the middle of uh this beautiful nature which is serene and uh, almost unreal because it's just so uh, lovely here. And, you know, the swan is in the back in the water. We have swans here, too. And swans can speak about love and new beginnings. Uh, yeah, they can. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this card is called love. And she's waiting for her love. The bird is flying above. Yeah, the dove. And, you know, the flower is so fertile. She looks like she's the empress sitting out here. Somebody's in love with you, Sagittarius. And... They want to get busy here with your womb. They do here. 
<laughs> I, should be, I shouldn't say that. But this cauldron is about creating uh, something, right? This is, uh, they're showing the pot. They're showing the pot or the witch's cauldron. But it is the womb where things are created, right? And the owl is here. We know the owl is the wisdom keeper. We know that. And this means that, you know, somebody is wise. They could have woken up and went through uh, maybe an awakening uh, because this, you know, and uh, the wisdom keeper here is making a shape of a key and the key is above him and so, or her, but long story short, she's even wearing like a, you know, this outfit that uh, it's like a, she's wearing this coat or this drape and it has a, a hood on it that is an owl. So really interesting. We know what that's about, right? This is somebody has the wisdom that you're the one. That's yes, it, right? It's totally. Let's look at the womb here and let's uh, let's talk about sex ed number uh, sex ed 101. Just teasing here. Let's see what we have for you guys, right? Uh, the beautiful womb, which is, you know, uh, the beginning of all creation. It is the void, the potential and a wise intention. Yeah. So this person knows the potential that they can create and grow with you. This is a beautiful reading. And that's what I was saying right and so let's see what it says the cauldron is central to old religion seeds of creation are being sown on a low note what you put in is what you get out this person knows what they put in with you right is is really going to grow and the cauldron associated particularly with Sarah Dwen, a, a Celtic crone goddess of the dark moon yeah this is a, like Irish and Scottish uh, divination right which is very cool it symbolizes the void, the deep, and the source of creation, the womb of life. And, you know, the void uh, is also, you know, we can talk about kind of filling a void, right? Filled with the potential to be realized, and that's what that is. Your person realizes that, you know, uh, you know, that you are filled with potential to be realized. It is the creator who fills the void, the enchanter who decides upon the focus for any incantation spoken over it. Cauldron symbolizes the potential you have at this time to create your own reality and your own outcome. Uh, and that's what somebody wants to, this person wants to do with you. The love card. We're not going to read about the love card, Sagittarius, because we know what it's about. And we know this person is really in love with you. Yeah, they are. And I bet you it's very beautiful. But we have to proceed with the reading, Sagittarius. We're, we're on a time clock today. <laughs> Let's see what we got. And over here is, this is a man. This is the king of diamonds. And he is the bear. This talks about somebody who possibly could be stubborn, but they have money. Yeah, and maybe your person has some money, right? I see that card as the king of pentacles. Maybe your person is, uh, because the diamonds can speak of money, or, you know, they can. And so, let's see. We also have the snake, but it's in the reverse. And this is the snake's tail. And, uh... You know, with this snake over here and this woman, she's letting she's letting the butterflies and out of the cage. She's really sad. And the chessboard is here, like I said. She's letting somebody go. That's why she's really sad. Yeah, she is. Maybe that, you know, they, they made her look real sad. Sad, and she looked kind of had there. And that's not nice, but uh, I just don't like this picture of this woman. And it's not that she looks sad. I don't. I just don't like what they did there because... I just don't like it. It's kind of a weird picture, as I was saying. So we have the seven of hearts, and this is reversed. This is the, the rattlesnake tail, and the blood drop is here. This blood drop, seven of spades, kind of like swords. This talks about losses. It does. Somebody might have convinced somebody to let them go so they could be with you, right? I mean, it, 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 could, it could be a real trip here. It could be somebody who has explained to their person, uh, why do you want to hold on to me if I love somebody else? That's kind of how it looks here with that girl. I mean, this card is very... Uh, the good thing about this card is it is very, like, uh, demonstrative or, like, it is very... Uh, it's clear what's going on here, right? Mm-hmm. It's very descriptive. And let's look at this snake bite in the reverse. I don't think it's anything right. I feel like this person is maybe, you know, I just feel like this could be a third party and somebody's letting somebody go because, you know, I just feel like it was a third party and could be for some, right? 
Uh, and then we have this, it doesn't have to be an active one, I'm just saying there could have been three people here, like, at one particular time, right? So, somebody's letting somebody go, you know, to... I just feel like somebody looks like they are determined to come here, and they have maybe convinced somebody to let them go, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see about this Seven of Hearts for Sagittarius, right? And it's reversed, it is. And uh, this is reversed. It is nothing to worry about now, but don't let your guard down. Even after a snake's head has been severed from the body, it still has the ability to bite. So, you know, this could be saying to you, don't worry about anything, but kind of pay attention to what you're doing. I feel like this person's coming. And you're going to have a new beginning with them. Uh, and uh, this could be saying, you know, just pay attention. That's all. Right, Sagittarius? We don't want to be blind. Even if somebody really loves us, we don't want to be blind, right? No, we don't. I don't, right? Like, I want to kind of understand, you know, the whole picture, the details and everything. And maybe this is why we have the chess board. Because the chess, uh, a game, uh, if you've ever played chess, it's definitely about details, right? And you don't, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be, uh, you know, want your person to have checkmate. No, you don't. Or whoever, right? Which is, it's interesting how the queen has the control on the chessboard, <coughs> right? Let's see what we have. These people are playing chess with our lives. That's what they're doing, uh, and they are strategizing, but it's not really strategy, you guys. It's plotting. They are, uh, yeah. But let's get into this reading, you guys. And today we're going to use the housewife's deck, Sagittarius, because when your person shows up, you best have the house clean. Yeah, you best. Just teasing. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. And so this Knight of Swords is can be like a bad boy. Maybe your person was a bad boy, right? Like, maybe they were, because it looks like they could have been with somebody else. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. And here comes the Knight of Swords after I did a, a, a shuffle. The Empress, you are the Empress. The Moon. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, these are three majors here in your energies. You're hoping for, or... You're hoping for healing, most likely, or this could just be you, temperance. It could. And this talks about both joy and anger. It kind of does. Or healing and loss. It could, because we have joy and sorrow and justice and anger here. Right? They're using anger on these, on these uh, food kind of packages. This used to be called accent. Anger, like kind of spicing it up, kind of. And accent was just MSG, you guys. Yeah. That's when they started with, I feel like Accent was probably a 60s product maybe, but they started with the junk food right around, I think it was the 60s. There was no colon cancer until the 70s. Yeah, something like that. Or there was hardly any. It's from all the processed foods. So try not to do it. Yeah, even processed packaged. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius. This is what you're kind of, uh, you maybe you are afraid of that or, you know. And this is a completion here. The lady is, you know, mm -hmm, let's see if we have these cards right. Yeah, you maybe you are fearing that this will be over look, because she's done with her job. She climbed the ladder and cleaned her house and she's ready to go out. She is, uh, she's beautiful there and, you know, uh, maybe you're fearing an ending. Mm-hmm. So you have four major arcanas here. Yeah, you have, your life is about to change, right? And here you are, Sagittarius. You were cleaning your, you were cleaning all that mascara that you wear. You know, you clump it on your eyes and, uh, and then you put a false eyelash over it. <laughs> Just teasing. And so she has her rollers here, right? They used to roll their hair at night. Can you believe this stuff? And, uh, and here's the cold cream, but this is about dreams, you could be dreaming about this person, and this talks about trusting your intuition, because dreams have everything to do with intuition. They sure do. You can dream what's going to happen. Uh, I've done it uh, more than a few times in my life. Yeah, I've had deja vus, uh, which really means kind of allowing you to see, like, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. That's really what that means. And, um, yeah, I've had a, a lot of those, yeah, even when I was a kid. So let's see what we have. And uh, you might be dreaming about them. Your challenge is the Wheel of Fortune. This could be you and the challenge. Maybe it's money. She's trying to win here. She's at the roulette wheel, right? And she's making her bet, uh, you know, show, showing her three. She's going to bet three chips here. But, you know, this could be, this could just be you feeling challenged is what I mean. And you have temperance. And temperance is really like 
this is, you know, this could be you, but you could be hoping for joy and healing. Maybe there was sorrow in the past. You could maybe be kind of hoping uh, to heal the situation. You could be hoping for your own justice. And honestly, Sagittarius, you could be hoping there was sorrow in somebody else's. I, I don't mean outright hoping that, but uh, because nobody does that kind of evil, like mean really stuff, but you might be hoping that something's going to end with the sorrow here showing up on the temperance card. Yeah, you could, right? And uh, you can't make a cake with this, Sagittarius. Uh, they're throwing accent and some kind of seasoning in here, which is MSG, and uh, something else. It's called New Joy, I kid you not. And uh, then they have this other card, Sorrow. I don't know what they put in that. Maybe it's... Uh, uh, dried uh, ca castor oil. I don't know, you know. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Uh, and the Two of Cups is in their challenge. They love you. See, this is very clear. It's clear from these cards over here. And their fear is the sun. Yeah, or their, their hope, sorry, is the sun. So they want, uh, they have clarity already because we have, uh, they have clarity. I forgot which card was talking about that. But they definitely, they, this person had already made up their mind a long time ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so the sun card is what they are hoping for. This is happiness. It could be success and resolution. They might want to resolve this with you, like restoration, right? Because the sun heals everything, doesn't it? Yeah. This is why they don't want us to go out uh, during the particular time, you guys, because they don't want you to have vitamin D. They wanted you to be sick. Yeah. No comments on that. Yeah. The death card, Sagittarius, is going to be their fear. See that? So you're fearing like a completion or possibly doubting it. We don't always go by the completions, but this is clear. Uh, by the, We don't always go by the uh, the placements. They're fearing a death. Either that, Sagittarius, or you're going to like, you know, meet them at the barbecue and your potato salad is going to have mayonnaise with uh, salmonella in it, right? So, you know, maybe you guys are chefs, right? <laughs> Oh, good God, right? No, they're afraid things are going to end. Here they are hoping for joy and happiness and success. And their hope and their fearing is going to end. This is clear. Their challenge is the two of cups. And this is a couple who is completely on the same page. And where, what card did we see that in? I forget. Oh, knowing, uh, yeah, no, one of these cards here, it's this one, I believe. Knowing that somebody is one with another. Like this person knows they are one with you. That's why we see so much beauty here, right? And here she is naked. She's waiting to, uh, she's waiting to do, you know, she's waiting to do the one thing. That's what she's, so you guys can be one with each other, Sagittarius. That's what she's doing right here, right? <laughs> so let's see what we have here. And we do have a lot of majors, but uh, your, your person has two down here. So we have uh, seven majors with a 12-card read, right? It's a, big, it's a big deal, this reading. And in the past, this person could have been the Knight of Swords here. And this is uh, the bad boy who came to town. The little girls are fluttering. He has his cigarette and his, you know, his jeans and his black leather jacket. And he's on his Harley, most likely. Uh, but, you know, these little girls are, they're, you know, their hearts are fluttering. He has a switchblade out. And, you know, it could be, maybe this person was like a bad boy with you in the past, right? Yeah, maybe this is the kind of guys that you like. I mean, young people kind of, you know, younger people usually like that. When you get older, you're like, oh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> right? Uh, but the Empress card is here for you right now. This talks about somebody who's nurturing, very, very nurturing. Uh, and, you know, here she is, recipes for success. She is a housewife. And here she is at her little infomercial. And, you know, back in the day, they would just have a card table. And they would let these ladies do these commercials. Yeah, it was a, a low budget. I mean, maybe it was a high budget in the back, but here she has all her things, recipes for success. I feel like you are the recipe for success with this person, Sagittarius. Either that or maybe you like this pink, uh, this pink fake cake, right? It's like pink, I don't know, just kind of pink and fake. <laughs> and the moon is the challenge for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what's on your mind, rather? Uh, so let's get a couple cards here because your energy is not entirely clear, but mostly. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius, please. We have the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. This is a new beginning, the Ace of Wands. It is. And uh, 
I feel like you have a new beginning with this person. Let's look at their version of the Ace of Wands, right? Uh, this uh, lovely artist here. Energy. Okay, projects and adventure. Interesting. So this, uh, you know, all the Aces typically, traditionally, are supposed to be new beginnings, but this is a different deck, right? Uh, most of my decks are different. But here we have uh, the Ace of Wands. This is, this is you most likely nurturing. I feel like you are dreaming about nurturing a union with somebody you might know with your person. You might know that, that they are your person. Like, they're the one. They're my soulmate. They're my twin flame. They are my everything, right? They are fated for me. They are my two of cups, etc., etc. So this is energy and new adventure. Behold a new spark of energy to begin your next project. Wow. The power to dust away the old and start anew. Yeah. This is you when you dust your furniture, Sagittarius, right? You could be saying, I don't dust my furniture. <laughs> Let's see what we have, you guys. Let's get another card for Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. And we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so you feel challenged by this. You have the energy for this. To nurture this project with this person, this new adventure. You have the energy here, but you feel challenged because, you know, you're supposed to clean this pink toilet, right, Sagittarius, with seven toothbrushes, right? And, uh, you know, even if you have seven, it's still hard to clean that toilet. And uh, that is challenges. You feel really challenged here. Or maybe this is you kind of thinking, dreaming, thinking, kind of using your insight with this moon kind of it talks about trusting your intuition and dreams like insight maybe you feel like they are kind of in that energy the seven of wands fighting back and crises uh, you might feel like this person is in a crisis right now and maybe it's with this person here who is going to let them go yeah there's no other way to look at this card and this lady looks so sad they did a great job on that they did mm -hmm. yeah she looks like she kind of didn't sleep good and you know she's letting the the butterflies out she's letting her person go for a new beginning that's what she's doing you have the moon here Sagittarius let's get a card on the moon for Sagittarius and we have judgment so this is what's on your mind I feel like you might be thinking that this person is getting harsh criticism because this judgment card talks about harsh criticism harsh judgment Right? Here she is, the ribeye steak. She's looking at the scale. She's going, God, I gained two pounds. Right? And she's already really beautiful. There's no extra weight on her. And you're like, okay, sure. <laughs> Let's see what we have. The tower. Yeah, I feel like you know here, maybe intuitively, that this person is coming. And this tower talks about, it's kind of like the world. I mean, it's something that is being dismantled. This is breaking the mold. We have, you know, the beautiful Brazilian woman here, or you know, and she's wearing, uh, you know, the the tropical, uh, the tropical Jello mold with all the fruit in it. But it's a mold, and it's going to be broken, and a new mold will be formed. Yeah. Let's see why you have the Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is. Family and wealth. This person, this could be your person, could be coming from a family and wealthy. This bad boy over here. I feel like this person probably maybe didn't treat you right in the past. It's possible. Look at all these majors you have Empress, Judgment, Tower, Moon, Fortune, Temperance. And this is what's on your mind here. You want a new beginning with them, the Tower. You wanted them to like. This is what's on your mind. Break the mold. Break out of their situation. I'm pretty sure you did. We'll get one more card on what's on your mind. And the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you. I feel like you're wondering if they're making this ever so hard choice or if they have made it. Your challenge, they have, Sagittarius. They totally have. And yeah, they have. And I feel like there's some heartbreak going on, but not for you. No, this is, this is like meant for you. That's why this is... Uh, that's why this reading is this way. I feel like this person realized that I do feel like they probably left somebody here. That's how much they know that you're the one. 
Yeah. And so the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands, this is your challenge. You want this person to be in flight. You're waiting for them to get on their little broom or their mop because, you know, because you're a housewife and they're showing these brooms and mops, right? And she looks like a real cute little witch on her broom. But this is your challenge. You want this person to be in flight, like to show up. To be, You want this to make progress and to move forward, the Eight of Wands. And your desire possibly could be temperance. This could just be you, uh, the Page of Swords. Uh, this is really interesting here because I feel like you want them to break the rules. Page of Swords. Like break rules, break their rules in their life and break out of this jello mold, which for me is another union. And this Page of Swords is somebody who is, he's, this little boy is running with his, uh, you know, he's running with the scissors and putting the handprints. And, you know, his mother said, uh, you know, little Joey, you know, knock it off. I'm tired of cleaning those handprints. And, you know, first and foremost, you, you can you really hurt yourself running with scissors, right? So, you know, uh, you could be hoping this person... You might have thought about this over and over again. This card kind of talks about... It does talk about insubordination, like somebody kind of not behaving. I just feel like you're hoping this person is going to break out of this situation over here and heal the situation with you. I feel like you, you do. Yeah. And this wisdom keeper could be you or them. Somebody is very wise here about love. They know that the potential here with the womb. Yeah, Sagittarius, they're, you know, they're thinking all about your womb here. They are. If not the womb, uh, the, you know, the other part, right? <laughs> we have the nine of wands in your fear. Let's get a card. It could be your fear. Let's get another card on your hope. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and the hope. The world card. Yeah, this is major wish fulfillments and expansion. See, this is what you're hoping for. I feel like you're hoping they're going to break away from another situation. Nine of Wands, this could be your fear, your doubt, and the King of Cups. You could possibly be fearing that maybe they... Uh, you could be doubting their devotion for you. This card, King of Cups, uh, you know, can talk about, you know... It can talk about devotion and mystery and contemplation. And he's making a decision or contemplating something. That's what he's doing, right? He has to have his beer with it, uh, you know. But you're fearing maybe there's going to be a completion. Uh, like this won't come. It'll just end. Like this won't happen, possibly. Yeah. Maybe you thought this person was devoted to this other person. And they're not, right? Two of Swords for them. In the recent past, I feel like they were undecided about this. Or they were at a crossroads about it, definitely. Because this is major. And for anybody kind of not to be at a crossroads to leave somebody else is, you know, you know, somebody else. It could be, maybe, depending on the situation, could be seen as, you know, I don't know, flighty or not compassionate, something like that. In other words, this is a hard decision for them. I feel like it was. Because uh, what's on your mind is this hard choice here. And they have the Page of Cups. And here they are now. Uh, they know now. They want to water your love here. Yeah, they want to nurture this. And the little boy who he looks like so sweet. Yes, he does. And, you know, he's here in his pajamas. They look like a little jail suit. They do, kind of, with the stripes. But he's pouring the water on his grandparents here, right? He has two granddaddies here and a, and a grandma. And, you know, the hearts, these are little, they're, they're flowers. And, you know, he's trying to make this grow. That's what this person wants with you. Show me why the Page of Cups is there. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. And this person is single here. They are, and this is why we have the Nine of Pentacles. Here the lady is a dishwasher. But, you know, she's a dishwasher because she's self-sufficient. She doesn't need anybody else. This person here is coming to nurture this. I feel like they have uh, probably detached themselves from another situation. And they could have been married because this Ten of Pentacles talks about family right here. In your energy with the bad boy. The Knight of Wands is what's on their mind with the Hanged Man. So this Knight of Wands, maybe this is the one that is insubordination, uh, because, you know, he's like, uh, kind of like, 
maybe he is seen as the bully in the neighborhood, right? He, you know, he's he looks like he kind of is, definitely. The hanged man, maybe there are Pisces. Maybe they're dealing with Pisces. But the hanged man is here, and this usually is an epiphany. It could be a sacrifice. Because here... We see uh, the woman, she's mad at her husband, she's, hang she's hanging him out to dry. And he's going, oh, like, oh, get me off of this line. She's sacrificing him. He did something, right? Here he is next to the panties, uh, next to her panties here uh, on the line. And uh, let's see what this is about, just kind of briefly here. The Knight of Wands, maybe it is somebody very curious and determined. This guy looks so determined here, right? Yeah. Mm, he looks like he's looking for trouble. This is what's on their mind, though. Let's see what the Knight of Wands is here. Mm -hmm. And this is taking action as well. Exuberance, mischief, and loyalty. Interesting how we have loyalty on their mind and mischief. Because they are uh, being totally mischievous, breaking a mold here with the tower, and breaking away from somebody, most likely. So here they are, and, you know, this could be mischief, what's on their mind, and loyalty. This person is seeing you as a lot of fun, and this is like, yeah, this is like a fun adventure for them. I don't mean to leave somebody, but I mean for them to show up, because they're really in love with you, and they think you're a lot of fun. They do. They see the potential with the womb, Sagittarius, right? Yeah, they do. They see the potential right there. And they know here, you guys are one with each other. That's what this card is about. And here they are. Wow. And this is mystery. Uh, I'm sorry, mischief. They have a lot of energy for this. And so do you. Over here, showing up with this Ace of Wands. And so here they are, like the other members of his suit, the Knight of Wands and Joyce being the focus of everybody's attention. Maybe, they, maybe this is you on their mind. That could be you. Maybe they think you're. You, maybe they feel like you have a lot of attention from somebody else. The par, the perpetual party guy, his swell ideas for fun and tomfoolery are a hit with ladies and gents. Yeah, they used to call uh, women, uh, women, uh, women and men, men. Yeah, nowadays it's, uh, you know, it's just whatever. So let's see, cruising around the neighborhood with pals, he has a tendency to get into mischief. Right? So, you know, uh, cruising around that he has a tendency to get into mischief, right? And this, this is not any, uh, this is not any, uh, comment about gay people or, uh, no, but they're, they're using pronouns now, right? Instead of, you know, instead of your name, they want you to say he or she, or it's just ridiculous. It is, right? So they're just trying to water everything down in this world. That's what they're trying to do. So you basically, you know, just they just are. So we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> but the hangman is here. I don't want anybody sensitive to go, well, what are you saying? Okay. So the hangman is showing up here with it. But, you know, still he is a loyal friend. And his youthful spirit inspires change and personal growth in everyone he meets. This Your person could think that you are. Like you're kind of a hit with people. Maybe social. Maybe popular. And they think... But they think you're loyal. That could be it. And that is kind of the, the personality of a Sagittarian. It can be. People think we're players, but actually we are very loyal. Yes, we are. and But we are also outgoing. Yeah, we are with other people. So this could be, uh, you know. And let's see what the Queen of uh, the Hanged Man is saying here. Yeah, let's see what it is. Uh, epiphany, hardship, a turning point. Yeah, they're having a hardship with somebody. Yeah, a turning point. This is what's on their mind here. They are going through a turning point. Let's get one more card for them. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius' person. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're cutting somebody out right here. Here's the woman, and she's mad at her husband too. And she put him in this rose. This rose. And he doesn't know he's being cut below the waist because he's laughing. And she said, well, you know, you were you were at the bar too much. You've been at the bar way too much. And uh, where's your paycheck and all this kind of stuff. And so, you know, she has, uh, you know, the garden tool. She's cutting him out. Your person's cutting somebody out here. 
I feel like this is a hardship for this person. That's why this woman here is so sad. The woman, yeah, that's why. So, you know, it's a hardship for them. But I feel like they're doing this because their loyalty is to you. And I, it's possible that this mischief is their own, kind of. Right? Yeah. Uh, and Two of Cups is their challenge. They really want this with you. You are, you are their Two of Cups, Sagittarius. Two of Wands. Interesting here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it says here. The Two of Wands. And let's see what it says. Two of Wands. Crossroads, decision, and choice. Mm -hmm. This is their challenge. So they've been at a crossroads. They had to make this choice if they want you. Because the challenge here is the Two of Cups. To have my, my other half. And we saw it with the lady over here who is you know, with all these feathers, and she's surrounded by these swans. This is being at one with somebody else. This reading's very clear that somebody's coming because I feel like they're coming probably uh, heartbroken or, you know, very challenged, but I do feel like they're coming with love and uh, knowing here that it could be that there was a void in their life without you. Yeah. They could think that you are this Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, with on the bike... Uh, mm -hmm. and here he is, you know, he has the plunger in his hand, uh, he looks like the town bully, and uh, the neighborhood bully, yeah, and he has a, a pot on his head, like that's his helmet, <laughs> so, you know, they might kind of think that maybe that's been them, though, but the reading's clear that they are, I believe, walking away from somebody, uh, I feel like it was a hard choice, and I feel like they have recognized the void without you, and the potential with you, yeah, that's what this card is, wow, and, uh, yeah, and so the sun card is what they want, and the death card is what they fear. They want this joy and happiness, resolution. This is resolution, like resolving the problems, and the death card is what they are fearing. We're going to end this reading, and we're going to go to the extended. Uh, and we're going to see how they feel about you and how they are looking at this, and uh, also their environment, physical or, uh, or emotional. Yeah, we're going to look at their near future. Mm-hmm, and uh, we're also going to see what they might want to say to you, right? And what you don't know about them, Sagittarius. Yeah, they're, I mean, yeah, you could be this witch over here or, you know, a nice witch here uh, laying on this bed, dreaming about this person, maybe totally trusting your insight here, but uh, you might not know everything. And, of course, their true intentions are all super affordable. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.